Our fourth speaker today is Professor G.N. Vikramanayaka. He is a professor and the director and chairman of the board of management of the University of Colombo School of Computing. Gihan is a chartered fellow and a council member of the BCS, uh, the Chartered Institute for IT UK, and has held positions in professional associations such as the chairman BCS Sri Lanka section for four years, the first treasurer of the IEEE Sri Lanka section, and student council of the Computer Society of Sri Lanka, and he is also a senior member of the Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers IEEE. He is also a board uh, member of the board of directors of the Sri Lanka Software Testing Board and chairman of Tikshana, a UCSC company. He also serves on the boards of Institute of Biochemistry, Molecular Biology and Biotechnology of the University of Colombo, Staff Development Center of the University of Colombo, and Lanka Education and Research Network Learn. And he has served on the board of the National Institute of Library and Information Services of the University of Colombo, and he's also a member of the Alumni Association of the University of Colombo and an advisor for national examinations. He has been the team leader for many of many national Olympiad teams and is associated with the National International Olympiad in, in, in informatics, uh, National International School Software Competitions and the National Best Quality Software Awards, Young Computer Scientist and Asia Pacific IC Awards, Epicta. Uh, Professor Gihan Vikramanayaka will speak today on the topic, Importance of Research at End User Level Case Studies. Thank you. Uh, I would uh, like to uh, uh, talk a little bit about uh, research and uh, certain case studies. So as introduced, I'm from Columbia University. So some of the case studies I will uh, talk about will be from uh, our university itself. So uh, what I wanted to emphasize is uh, we do a lot of research at university levels. Uh, most of the research happens uh, through students and uh, uh, but uh, as the previous some of the speakers uh, highlighted uh, uh, the end result doesn't reach to the level where we would like to uh, see some products being used by the end users. So, uh, so some other shortcomings related to that and uh, how we can uh, uh, encourage certain good ideas to be taken into implementation level, I will uh, try to uh, em uh, emphasize th through my talk. So, uh, so the first of all, uh, so we, we uh, look at research. Basically, we look at certain idea, certain problem, and try to uh, apply some systematic investigation and uh, come up with some sort of a new conclusion. And uh, through that, uh, we come up with some sort of new idea, new innovation. So, uh, so. The innovation to reach the end user, basically it has to be usable at the end user level, otherwise it will be become at the laboratory level or where we speak about the uh, innovations at uh, these type of forums, but uh, it won't actually reach the uh, real user. So, uh, uh, so a lot of the things what happens uh, at uh, uh, research level uh, initiates from the university environment. So uh, universities are responsible in creating new knowledge and uh, so the students and the staff will uh, have to get together and uh, explore these ideas, look at various possibilities. So you need to brainstorm various ideas. So, so usually when you have a student and a supervisor basically you uh, it is a small group, so when you try to brainstorm among a small group, you are limited to certain uh, framework. So, uh, so it's always good to do this brainstorm with a large group, 
so that you look at wide aspects of uh, uh, ideas and then see how those can be connected with whatever the uh, initial idea you had with respect to uh, carrying out your research. So, uh, so the process of research basically you start with some sort of a problem and uh, you try to see how that can be looked at in a, some innovative way or something different to how it had been used before and uh, so there are many ways of uh, uh, setting up the solution so you need to look at various options and uh, finally you will come up with a particular direction and then based on that you come up with whatever the uh, developed solution so uh, so that sort of approach basically is used most of the time and uh, uh, so what I am trying to emphasize today is uh, basically uh, whatever we try to do we need to link with the society and the end user and see how the end users could uh, get the benefit out of these ideas so it should not be restricted to the laboratory uh, type of environment so uh, so whatever we try to do we need to see how we can uh, end up with uh, uh, a product that is usable at the end user level so depending on the targeted audience or the product how you will use will vary but uh, you need to see uh, how to reach to the end user level so uh, so a lot of this research usually takes time and effort so uh, so usually most research we try to do within the students study period so within uh, one year period certain ideas can be explored and certain experiments can be done but uh, to reach to a level of a uh, product that can be used by others uh, it's a longer process it needs uh, three four years of hard work you need to put together to make it usable by others so uh, so a lot of the good ideas once the student leaves the idea also uh, dies down so uh, so we need to have some sort of a environment that will help to others to take these ideas forward or strengthen these things and so that we can come up with some usable uh, output so uh, so whatever these ideas you need to look at with respect to the value that it will create to the government or the citizens society in general and uh, what sort of benefits that will come and then based on that to uh, work towards uh, uh, coming up with the whatever the end product so uh, <coughs> so once you come up with some sort of a uh, product that means you need some development uh, cycle so uh, so usually companies can develop within a, pe a shorter period because they will put a large group of developers testing people and so forth to come up with whatever the end products but when it goes on the research point of view you work with smaller numbers so as a result you need uh, more time and uh, effort to come up with the uh, final outcome so you can't just uh, come up with a solution within a short period so from the national point of view uh, we have uh, identified a lot of areas where we want to uh, focus Sri Lanka as various knowledge centers so ports, aviation, uh, highways, health, education, agriculture, fisheries, tourism and so forth so uh, so all these areas are potential uh, fields where we can uh, uh, try to spend some time and come up with some solutions that will help not only Sri Lanka the rest of the world as well so then only our IT solutions can uh, create value and earn the required gen uh, revenue otherwise we do research but those research don't generate research or re generate uh, revenue 
because uh, it doesn't reach the end user. So, uh, uh, so it's important to uh, uh, see the value what the whatever the uh, invention they are trying to do will create and based on that uh, uh, work towards uh, achieving that. So, some of lot of the new technologies was mentioned. So, uh, uh, various uh, modern technologies would be used uh, wherever possible. So, a lot of these technologies do have various sensors uh, which allows you to exploit the uh, information, uh, extract the information from surrounding environment and create value added services. So, uh, that is what we need to see how to uh, uh, integrate these various services and come up with whatever the uh, suitable solution. So, uh, so, this can be based on uh, uh, various industries or the agriculture and so forth. So, or the mi military de defense related things. So, I will later come up with few examples. So, before I move to the example, I just thought of uh, uh, putting a problem for the audience to just to uh, make you all think. Uh, so, usually if he wants to arrange, we will say these glasses uh, one after the other to be having uh, uh, not been full, then uh, uh, you need to do some change to make it uh, happen. So, one option is to take the second one and swap with the fifth and then you can create the required thing or the four from second to the fifth. So, uh, so you need to come up with some sort of a way of approaching and coming up with the appropriate uh, solution. So, uh, so when you think of these ideas, uh, people comes up with many different ideas. So, uh, so usually there are thousands of ideas that comes up when you have various discussions. So, uh, so out of these ideas, not all will materialize to the level where we want to uh, come up with whatever the solution. So, uh, so if you are going to explore some of these ideas, you need to filter and select some potential uh, ideas that will have some impact value uh, serv added services and so forth and based on that you create various projects. So, uh, so these thousands of ideas will have to be uh, scaled down to manageable a certain number of projects based on the number of available resources to carry out the research. So, some will carry out uh, uh, within a shorter period like up to one year or so, some will carry out within a longer period. So, uh, so one of the other thing is this research has to be done in some of the things in collaboration so that uh, one some output is obtained, it is not thrown away that will be used by the next group who will continue the work because from the student point of view and the student completes the whatever the intended task uh, is concerned only about the results or the, the outcome of the project with respect to showing as a prototype but not to the level where the end user can have access to the uh, solution. So, uh, so usually out of s many projects what we do uh, not all comes up with a successful uh, workable solution and uh, so out of these hundreds of projects uh, a smaller number like 10 or so will uh, be uh, usable if you do some sort of improvements to those solutions and uh, some of those will be good to recognize and be rewarded as well. So, uh, the finally the idea is if you think of with respect to the innovation aspect uh, uh, out of these thousands of ideas you won't come up with like 5 10 innovative products so you may, maybe one may succeed as an innovation uh, which is usable by others so main thing is to how to achieve that so uh, so a lot of time what happens is before we reach to that 
the project ends or uh, the project don't get the adequate support to go to the next level. So there are several weaknesses which some of I wanted to highlight in my talk. So one of the things is the environment where we do our uh, research. So in a typical university environment, basically, like we have in this room, uh, it's packed uh, with uh, people, and that type of environment won't create opportunity to uh, freely think and uh, share ideas. You need more relaxed, more spacious environment to carry out research. So, uh, so the bigger picture which I have highlighted is to you need environments like these to uh, people to have a free environment <coughs> to discuss and uh, materialize their ideas. So other than that, you also need various facilities to carry out the research depending on the type of research. So uh, those things also has to be facilitated. So there are restrictions with respect to budgets and various procedures we have to follow and so forth. So uh, you need to come up with whatever the uh, solution to overcome such situations. So. Uh, so once you come up with some sort of a workable solution, it may be okay to pilot test at, uh, with some users. Uh, that alone will, will not uh, make the end users <coughs> uh, use the, your system. You need to do many other things related to branding the product, uh, marketing and so forth. So one of the weaknesses that we see in the university environment is we are weak in those aspects. So, uh, uh, but we do have in a typical university, we have marketing, finance and various other departments. So you need to collaborate and make sure there are people looking at those aspects and helping to uh, take the product to the level where we need to uh, uh, ensure some good ideas will end up with some sort of a product level used at the uh, by the users. So, uh, so those type of things also has to be looked at and addressed. So these are some statistics about we have many universities in Sri Lanka uh, compared to small com com based on the other countries, but most of these in, uh, uh, universities have various research. Uh, facilities so at the university level or sometimes we have various research institutions so uh, so basically except the last one the schools uh, the, we have like uh, close to 100 type of uh, research uh, facility available resources are available in the country but uh, most of the time what happens is now we can see so for certain area we have multiple resource places. So, uh, so most of the time what will happen is the research happens in isolation. So, uh, so one of the things is required is uh, also certain collaborations to exploit whatever you have done with the other uh, facilities and try to get the competitive advantage rather than restricting and uh, limiting to what type of research that happens in a particular place. So, uh, so that also has to be looked at and strengthened uh, in order to get the best use. So, uh, so a lot of the time from the education aspect, what we look at is the numbers. Like we know, as pointed out earlier, the numbers we have in the IT industry is very small compared to the demand. So, uh, so therefore focus mainly happens by how to increase these numbers and uh, meet the demand. But by that we uh, ignore certain other aspects that has to be uh, uh, also protected in order to make sure quality activity do happen at the universities to come up with whatever the uh, good solutions. So. Uh, uh, so we do have various uh, 
uh, organizations looking at how to assist uh, uh, various projects to take to the next level and uh, uh, some research are supported by various funding agencies and uh, through that some other things are happening but the things the whatever the numbers that comes to the reaching the end users is still very small so uh, so one thing i want to just to highlight is uh, to come up with some sort of innovative solution uh, you need to think basically out of the box uh, so uh, so when you see certain uh, uh, image or certain area you just generally try to f think with respect to the given environment so you have to look at all other op op options as well and uh, for example if you are going to connect these dots using this uh, single line you need to go out of the area in order to achieve that so uh, so most innovative solutions also you need to come up with that sort of uh, approach so next i will briefly uh, mention some of these case studies i wanted to highlight so most of them are based on what has come out of the uh, colombo uh, university various research groups so few i will first show what we have uh, given for the uh, various forces to use so one of the issues what they had uh, about 7 uh, 8 years back was uh, because of the war period and so forth training personnel to handle uh, various uh, ships and so forth and the softwares that were available uh, was not affordable so uh, so based on some of those suggestions uh, we are able to come up with a simulation type of a uh, solution which allows people to train uh, people how to navigate because uh, if you use the real environment it's a very costly exercise and uh, so some of these solutions are now deployed in some of the naval uh, places in uh, uh, some of the uh, ports uh, colombo uh, and uh, rincomalee and few other places so uh, so this is one of the uh, things and based on this idea uh, basically a few other solutions came from the simulation type of things uh, to train uh, firing artillery again uh, each artillery is very expensive and uh, uh, so by just firing at you are also spending a lot of money so uh, so the initial training if it can be done through simulated environment and you get the feeling then after that you can try the the real environment so uh, solution was developed and given which is used at the army and uh, later uh, solution was also given to uh, the air force for uh, training some uh, flight uh, jets uh, uh, similar to the ship uh, environment uh, uh, how to ne uh, control uh, some of the uh, this uh, control boards uh, uh, was also provided and uh, so those are more on the military side uh, some of these things that has reached the end user level where we have a solution based on a similar idea deployed in the uh, colombo harbor where earlier we had situations ship, ships comes in and suddenly goes out without informing anyone so they just put off the uh, signals and uh, take it at night out and then without paying and so forth the people the ships has gone out and then it's too late to take action so we have put various solutions which they now monitor and uh, try to identify where the ships are located and uh, some of these things even the responsible officers can see from their mobile devices uh, to know uh, the current situation with respect to the uh, number of ships that has come to the country and so forth so uh, so many different things can be done so the same simulation for car uh, 
related is also done and few other things uh, uh, we see a lot of foreign applications which is available uh, in mobile apps for tourists to move around in the country uh, see important places uh, like a self-guided uh, application and uh, so some of these also can be done so a lot of these things has been done as student project but very few are available for download and use at the uh, by any user so uh, so we have done few of these as well and uh, uh, last year we saw the person uh, seeing the app uh, writing an article uh, uh, encouraging uh, the use of uh, certain innovative ideas being put to practice so uh, so what I'm trying to emphasize is you need to see how to achieve that sort of uh, uh, target objective when you are doing some sort of a research based project. Uh, then uh, we see a lot of people have been affected with the various dengue cases and uh, there are solutions for these as well and uh, there is a solution we have already given in the Colombo city limits uh, done managed by the Colombo Municipal Council where public can download the app, take pictures and upload to the app and uh, relevant PHIs and the medical officers, their mobiles will alert uh, through uh, one, once it is uploaded so that they know where they have to go and uh, investigate but uh, if you look at the number of downloads is still uh, in small numbers so that means the awareness or the interest has not got created so you need to do other things like marketing and various other aspects to get people to use and contribute because these type of things you need everybody to participate to get the best outcome and few other things uh, uh, fingerprint identification uh, again uh, another solution uh, that was developed uh, which has helped to uh, clear certain investigations within a uh, short period uh, uh, we have been able to digitize and uh, uh, assist in uh, many similar uh, solutions the birth marriage and various things is done with the help of the ICTA as well the even the fingerprint one uh, all have been digitized so uh, so those who are like born from 1960 onwards everybody's things are now digitized and uh, uh, so uh, you can easily get copies of these certificates uh, when needed uh, with uh, without wasting time earlier we had to go to the we had to know from where to apply and go to the relevant office that office only was able to provide it now uh, uh, most places are able to provide with whatever the appropriate solution so uh, there are many other things that can be done uh, few things uh, low cost uh, equipment for schools and various things also we have uh, come up with some certain research and provided uh, those facilities to some other laboratories because uh, schools find it not economical to uh, maintain their equipment because these things get outdated quickly so by having few powerful computers and others with dump screens uh, you can uh, uh, have everybody access to the uh, latest technology so some of those type of things also can be done so one more thing I want to mention about the agriculture thing uh, again uh, another solution we have uh, provided uh, uh, Basically, uh, the farming community wants many different type of information, but those information, a lot of them are available in websites and various things, but then the farmers don't have the time to look for and uh, locate this information. So they are particularly interested, for example, what will grow in their area. They are not interested in other varieties which will not grow in their area. So, so we need to provide information based on the location so the mobile devices 
easily provide that such facilities. So once you register your farm, then when you log in, then the information that will come will be based on the that particular farm and what will go in that area. Then once you select some uh, crop, then whatever the variety is available and uh, certain planning related calculations and various things can be done. Uh, so a lot of these things are possible because of various sensors that available with these mobile devices and uh, so uh, so in the future is mo more like exploiting these type of things and uh, trying to uh, come up with various appropriate solutions so uh, so to take whatever the research innovative solutions uh, some party has to take the risk because some will succeed some will not and the students are unable to afford those so the government organization universities uh, they should have uh, environments where the students can uh, have access to them and uh, 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 make use of these uh, uh, environments to do proper research so a lot of these things will succeed if you do in collaborative manner as well as if you focus on uh, supporting marketing distribution and various other aspects as well so uh, so currently a lot of the things happens at the research focusing on publications level but uh, what I'm trying to emphasize is that the loan is not adequate that is good for the academic career but then uh, from the citizen point of view we need to make sure some of these things will reach the common citizens so uh, so various things that has to be addressed I have listed but I have also run out of the time so I will just skip this uh, mm. so we need to focus on uh, certain good solutions and uh, also think think of some income generation form so uh, a lot of the other universities uh, get patents and uh, for create the income generation solutions and in hand over the solution for somebody else to take it forward so we also need to look at those aspects because the universities alone will not be able to uh, uh, do the final uh, fine tune the touches, touches required in order to get the best outcome from the whatever we do so uh, so the idea focus was mainly to encourage doing research and also to uh, think of how to support the environment and uh, uh, so from the administration point of view there are some responsibilities in supporting this research to take help them to take to the relevant uh, level so that I'll stop thanks